great fall mushroom and a longer video here. If you think you know everything about shrimp of the woods, make sure to watch this video. I'm not gonna tell you everything about them, but I'm gonna share a couple really interesting things, especially involving the shape and atypical uh, aborted forms here that I think are really cool. Here's what we're gonna go over. How to harvest clean. How to not come home with a basket full of dirt. The non-aborted forms, are they edible? Do they taste good? Atypical aborted forms, cleaning and cooking. A little bit of background. This is Entoloma abortivum. Basically, there's been a lot of debate over this over the years. Tom Volk has some great information on it online. Entolomas and honey mushrooms react. Originally, we thought the entolomas were aborting themselves, uh, but now we think it's maybe the honeys, and the reaction causes the mushrooms to form things called corporphoroids. Those are the aborted forms. The exact relationship is still a little bit unclear. Hopefully, we'll know more in the future. Either way, they're a fine mushroom to eat, but they take some skill to make them taste good in the kitchen, and I will go over that at the end. So just like other mushrooms that we harvest, and this is especially important with the entolomas because they have like this divot in the top where it's like a, it's a nook and cranny where dirt can just get right in there and it will be a complete pain to clean. You wanna make sure that they're clean before they go into the basket. And like I mentioned before, these are gonna be found near honey mushrooms. Almost always I'm gonna see honeys near them and my best fruitings come from elm trees. But they'll be in coniferous woods too. The key is looking for places that honey mushrooms would grow. And most of the time, you're gonna see these in clusters on the ground, and the, you want mushrooms that are very firm. And with this thing, I'm gonna harvest a couple different mushrooms here, just so you can see. We're gonna cut all of that dirt off, and this is a cluster. You can see that there's dirt literally inside of the middle of that cluster. So I'm just gonna keep trimming this until I don't see any dirt. And this one, we may have to pick apart to be able to get all of that dirt out there. And I was just gonna slow this down a little bit. So you see that pink in the center. I'm not sure if this is related to uh, the pink spore print of Entoloma mushrooms and the, the spore bearing structure there, or if it is related to uh, honey mushrooms that will kind of bruise pink a little bit. But that's kind of a typical clustered form, and you may need to pick them apart and clean them individually to get them nice and clean. Okay, I'll just do one more from the ground. We pick the mushroom from the ground. We cut the dirt from the base where it attaches to the ground in a way where the dirt is going to be away and won't drop into the nooks and crannies of the mushrooms as we're cutting. And we're making sure that the mushroom is firm. Okay, these are the best. If you can, Mushrooms growing directly from a tree above the ground are gonna be the cleanest and easiest to harvest. And they will be a joy to cook with compared to ones that'll come from the ground. Because wood, there might be a little wood stuck on the base. Wood is not going to have a texture like dirt. It's not gonna taste gritty. So they're just gonna be a lot easier to clean. If you can, get them directly from the tree. This is ideally what you want nice clusters of white mushrooms that will take minimal cleaning when you get home. Okay, eating the non-aborted forms. I do like these. They have a really interesting flavor you can see here on the left. They're gray mushrooms with a gray stem, gray gills, all gray, the gray. And they have a pink spore print that you'll see pretty soon. This is what they look like. Often you'll see them very close together with the entolomas, the, the aborted ones. They have a little tuft of mycelium at the base, and they're just all gray. And these aren't recommended in field guides because they think people can mistake them with other mushrooms. Once you get to know this mushroom, this is a simple mushroom to identify. There you can see the pink spore print, and that will be visible on mature specimens in the field and is a good way to... Uh, just to double check your ID there if you want to eat the non-aborted forms. But other entolomas also have pink spore prints. General cleaning. So like most mushrooms, really the most that you're going to need is a little bit of water and a paper towel if you picked them clean like I described. 
Okay, that one right there, that's a little lightweight. Remember, we want them firm and heavy, so I'm going to throw that one out. And each mushroom is kind of unique. Uh, I like a knife with a, a nice fine pointed tip to kind of get in those nooks and crannies if I need to. Some of the mushrooms might need to be cut in half. Some of them might need to be like chiseled out. Some of the mushrooms will be so clean that they won't even need washing at all. Each one is kind of different. And, you know, if you hunt mushrooms, you know that cleaning is a process. It just takes a little time and you just need to take each mushroom individually and clean them to make sure that you don't have dirt and twigs and stuff like that. Okay, that one's really nice looking. You can see I cleaned it really well in the field, so that one doesn't even need to see the water at all because these will absorb water readily and we need to get all of that water out and caramelize them for them to taste the best. Atypical aborted forms. These are so cool. This is uh, a couple of these images. They're from like eight years ago and then one that I just got a couple days ago. So this is the first giant ones that I found. Uh, usually they're going to be about the size of a half dollar or a quarter, but these are massive and I have this patch. It still gives them every year. They're just really, really large. And then I started finding clusters where the mushrooms are atypical forms on the left-hand side is what I'm talking about. You can see it's not a popcorn shape. It almost looks like a mushroom because it is. So just an interesting variation and no divot in the top. And then this week, look at what I found. We've been getting crazy amounts of rain and sometimes that can give you clusters, like freakishly large clusters of mushrooms that are fused together. So this is the largest one I've ever found. And one of them, uh, one part of them was individual mushrooms that I could kind of peel apart. And then the other half was just complete 100% solid mushroom. I just think this is so cool. And again, I suspect that it is heavy rainfall that is making this happen. Uh, but if you find one of these, it can be confusing because you may not know what it is. Like, oh, this it kind of looks like an entoloma. Is it? It absolutely is. You just have to know that sometimes you can find atypical fused clusters that don't have that indent or the typical popcorn ball entoloma, aborted entoloma shape. And what you can do, you can cut it into a big thick slice and you can cook it just like a piece of meat, just like you would a chicken in the woods or the base of a hen of the woods or another meaty polypore. But those are great. Uh, they have a nice sweet taste, these mushrooms do, different than the smoky taste of the non-aborted forms. Okay, general cooking. The most important thing is to caramelize these mushrooms and put color on them. These are a very mild tasting mushroom. Also, the shrimp analogy, shrimp of the woods, they're not going to taste like shrimp. The shrimp of the woods analogy is a basic reference to the texture, which is vaguely similar. Here, I'm cooking them with a strong uh, guajillo chili sauce and having them as tacos. Big flavors are good here. Or cooking them down like I have here with honey mushrooms, really cooking them down for like 25 minutes in a saute pan slow to get all of the moisture out and to really caramelize them and concentrate those glutamates and make all the good mushroom flavors come out. Toss them with some hot, hot chilies and garlic and herbs when they come out. All of these recipes are on my website. Probably the reader favorite is the easiest one and that's just oven baked shrimp of the woods. I know some people will bake these and then freeze the baked mushrooms and then just reheat them in an air fryer. This is good when you just want a mushroom snack. But the best thing to make the thing that everyone will love, even if they don't like these mushrooms, the thing that hides their mild flavor and enhances them is my Fra Diavolo. So you take a bunch of entolomas and you cook them down and get them all caramelized and golden brown, and then you heat them up in a simple spicy tomato sauce and toss them with pasta or have them as a ragu with polenta. Super good. Make sure to try that one. All these recipes are on my website. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about aborted entolomas or shrimp of the woods. It's been a great mushroom season out this year, and I hope it's been good to you. Thanks for watching.